Sheldon Yoder here. Welcome to Conversations with Yoder's Farm or at Yoder's Farm. Uh, this is Conversations number three. And I'm supposed to be joined here pretty soon by Lowell Yoder, uh, my brother, and he should be showing up anytime. Hey, Elton. There he is. Sorry there to be late. Is. I brought us something here. <laughs> um. So we got this message from Shirley, and she said, Now, is there any way you could make your presentation a little more classy? So I thought, well, yeah, a fruit bowl. So I brought fruit. As you can tell, see, I have a red delicious apple. I have some pink ladies here. This is a gala or a Fuji. I think it's a Fuji. And then we have these bananas here straight from Mexico. <laughs> So we thought this would add a little class to our presentation today. Great. Uh, what did you do this week? That's kind of the premise for the whole thing, so let's talk about what happened on the farm this week. Well, uh, personally, on Monday, I went to Richmond for a strawberry um, meeting with the Virginia Strawberry Growers Association. That's right. That's kind of a young association, a couple of years old now. A young association. Uh, so we had a board meeting there, uh, talked about some interesting ideas, um, ways to um, strengthen our association, uh, reach out to other growers in the state. And uh, one of the big pushes that, that we're, we have is for educational type things. So we're looking to do some more meetings, strawberry meetings, uh, on field, I mean on farm type of events where you can do a lot of hands-on things yeah. and uh, there were pretty cool extension people there and it was a good meeting so I'm excited for and you're on that board right I am the, yeah. I don't know why they ran out of people and <laughs> well, there's so not that many strawberry growers in Virginia at least that are part of the association so they yeah. didn't have too many to choose from <laughs> <laughs> poor them yeah they're about 80 um, as near as they can tell, 80 uh, strawberry growers in the state of Virginia, which compared to North Carolina, I think North Carolina has maybe 300 and wow. some, so we're quite a bit smaller yep. than they are. Cool, so that's so what that was I did Monday. Monday. Yeah. Yep. I don't know what Dad and Gary did. I think they were I'm sure they were just maintaining the, the regular things that happen around here. Pretty much. Yeah, not a lot of changes um, this week from last week. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of the time of the year, so we're sort of doing the same old things. Um, we have uh, tomatoes at two different stages. Um, these in this greenhouse are not quite ready to uh, be picked yet. We're about three weeks away. Uh, we spent most of our uh, greenhouse working time in our other or one of our other greenhouses we were actually picking in there and uh, we were taking off uh, bottom leaves uh, as we move the plants along you gotta take off the leaves on the bottom uh, helps with disease yeah. uh, issues so we were doing that leaning the plants and uh, working with the vines and getting that house all caught up and uh, this week we'll be ready to move into this house Yep, and you're planning to plant the third greenhouse before too long, or yeah, several a month weeks. Or so? uh -huh. okay. That's a later crop. Those That's are, where we'll plant the um, what kind of tomatoes are they? <laughs> heirloom, heirloom tomatoes. That's the word. Yeah, grafted yeah. heirloom tomatoes. We'll have those probably starting in May sometime. Yeah. About strawberry season. Good enough. It's warming up a little bit. The snow's finally leaving. Slowly. It's very muddy. Very muddy and quite muddy but it almost starts to feel a little bit like spring at least sometimes yeah. <laughs> dad was commenting yesterday you know that sun feels mighty good it's getting a little higher in the yeah. sky and uh, that's something you can start telling in february yeah and it really helps the tomatoes uh, if, even if it's not warm outside getting a lot of good sun and uh, longer days are helping our tomatoes yeah, quite exactly. a bit yeah, actually, uh, middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday, you think that bee will come over here? He's pollinating a flower over there. Hard to say. He might want some Pepsi or something. That's the cool thing about having a set right out here in the greenhouse, isn't it? 
Yep, you never know who or what will show up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so middle of the week, we um, have been wanting to expand one of our calf pens um, into a, another part of the barn, uh, give them access to a sunny, sunnier area. Sun is actually important for calves, too. Keeps them warm and uh, comfortable in the wintertime. So we spent uh, a good bit of the day Wednesday getting that ready. And also, since we had irrigation pipe at that uh, place yeah. <laughs> that we're going to move the pen to, uh, we did some talking about our irrigation system. Uh, we're one irrigation the, for strawberries, the strawberries and, and the pumpkins. Yeah, we pump from the creek, and um, we're wanting to put in a second pump, okay, and a second system. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Okay, now you know. See, every week we do this, I find out something new. Last yeah. week I found out that they now name winter storms. <laughs> so we're looking, we had some pipe on hand, and we are kind of figuring out what we might need and uh, making some plans for that. Cool. Now we went and got another um, little load of calves from the farm. We yeah. raised them four yeah, and um, brought them up here to their new home. You want to take a little peek around? Um, I thought we could go out and flip up one of the strawberry covers and yeah, look under I there think that would see be how a they're great doing. Idea. All right, well, it. let's go walk around a little bit and uh, look at some strawberries. Uh, so it's been a couple weeks since um, I've had the covers off just to look at the plants. Uh, last week, of course, they were covered in snow, so I thought I'd come out here and, and pull a cover back and just make sure everything's uh, going okay under there. Pretty soon we'll start going on and off with these covers and uh, that's always a fun job in the spring. I don't know, we go on and off with the covers probably 10 times a spring. Uh, depends on the weather. Yeah, I think the plants are looking pretty good. They're, they're definitely more weathered than they were a few weeks ago when we um, put them under the covers. That's to be expected with the cold weather. Um, pretty soon here we're going to go through and do our spring renovation which is you know, kind of brushing the plant, taking the dead material off. Uh, that uh, helps with diseases and so forth. But So what I was curious to see especially was uh, to see if we uh, had buds uh, pushing up out of the center. Uh, right now you want to keep these plants in a holding pattern and you have to be careful as the weather warms up uh, with keeping covers on. They can push the plants uh, too far too fast and I'm not seeing a lot of a lot of new bud growth. Uh, we have a few uh, here. These opened um, back before we uh, put the covers on when we had the really warm spell in December. That's not too much of a problem to, to have a few uh, here. It looks like uh, most everything is still down down in the plant and uh, waiting until the weather gets just a little warmer to erupt with uh, new growth. These are all uh, dead, of course. Uh, that's just what happens in the wintertime. So I think these plants are looking good. Uh, they're in a good holding pattern and uh, should be ready to, to really start rolling here uh, in a few weeks. So actually this cover on a day like today, you know, it's probably what 50 degrees and windy. It's a pretty chilly day outside, but this cover makes a huge difference. It feels pretty comfortable in, in here. I probably won't spend the rest of the day here, but it's not so bad. So the, I think the plants are liking it. I think what we see here is good. I'm, I'm thinking that we'll be in for a pretty good spring. Hopefully we don't have a really severe cold outbreak in the next few weeks. But uh, get these plants cleaned up and uh, rolling and get some red berries for you. Do you think we can say guys yet? Or are we still on guys? I think we have guys now. Uh, let's see here. Yep, we are now officially 
have more viewers than just one so guys hey guys thank you thank you thank you guys for watching this is the end of the confessions is what i almost said <laughs> we can Con start that conversations <laughs> with yoder's farm number three thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this Appreciate head it. over to yodersfarm.com you can find out our current store hours if you want to pick up some tomatoes um, and you can sign up for the email newsletter list to uh, be notified of future seasons and stuff if you hear that thing that just cut on that is our tomatoes being fed via water i thought it was machine gun fire <laughs> you're so weird you never know <laughs> all right thanks for watching and we will see you again next week have a good week Double check. Make sure we're all clear. Clear, clear. 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 Along with Colonel Jackson down the mighty Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Or you can come and go around that tomato and step over through. Uh, that's potentially disaster. Or crawl under. I guess we could pour Diet Coke into my coffee cup. Yeah, but you'd have to go get a Diet Coke because this is Diet Pepsi. I mean, I uh, Diet Pepsi. All right. Are we ready? Are you going to open up your Diet Pepsi? Here, pour me a little look. look. No, before. Oh, you have a problem with that? Yeah. Even though we're related? We're not related. <laughs> <laughs> Careful not to bump that thing. Okay. Yeah, See, you just bumped it. it. Man. Right so what are we hand. talking about this week? You got all that taken care of? Okay, we'll just add a little bit. Go. <laughs> Hello everyone, Eldon Yoder here, and today we are... One moment, please. <laughs> uh, these are real, but we actually don't grow them. The apples are locally sourced, the bananas obviously are not. <laughs> Very good. Uh, it's a conversation. I did my part. Now it's your turn to say something. And before we do that, though, let's do the outro so that we can do that here. Do the what? The outro. What's you have that? an intro and an outro to a video. An outro? The intro is like an any. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the fruit bowl is a great addition. I bet we won't bring it back again next week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably eat the fruit. Okay. We're too old for that. I know. So I'm really curious to see how, how to work over here. Figure over here a little different. Sure enough, red berries over here. By glory, I tell you.